vlog family. Look at that snow, just a flying. Goodness gracious. It's been snowing all day. Um, we went out and did our grocery shopping and oh, I thought that was a package on the front porch, never mind. We went out and did our grocery shopping and it was very windy and very cold and I didn't like it and the roads are okay. They aren't terrible, but they're also not great. So yeah, according to the weather, Dan's also listening to a football podcast. So that's what you hear in the background. But according to the weather people, we're supposed to get five inches, which they also said it was supposed to stop by two, which is in like 15 minutes and I spat all over. And I don't think we're gonna get five inches unless it just keeps snowing. Happy Monday. Making myself a hot chocolate and I wanna experiment a little bit with it by doing what I usually do, which is add some peppermint extract whipped topping and cinnamon sprinkled, but then I took these mini M&Ms and took out the red and green ones and then try to sprinkle those on top to make it more Christmassy. And I'm gonna be recording because I don't know if it's gonna work or not. There's nowhere I can put you without it being stupid, so. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it and then I'll catch right back. Okay, this is what we're working with. Quick, 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 quick. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I love it so much. It's so cute. I just spent the last four hours doing this. I did not realize it was going to take me that long. My goodness. I've had the idea to do this for a long time. Basically, what I did. If you didn't figure it out by that very brief little view that I gave you. What I did was I made little dividers for every single book of the Bible in order. So it starts at Genesis and you go all the way over. There's seven little tabs and then it repeats again and it just keeps going all the way through all is it 66 books. I'm a bad Christian. 66? The KJ52 song is in my head and I think that's how many books. Anyway, all the way to Revelation, and then I have a little section right there that's miscellaneous, and then I have three extra. The reasoning behind doing this is, for the longest time, I have wanted a place that I can keep all of my notes from different services that I've gone to, Sunday morning, Wednesday night, Sunday night, whatever services I'm going to, and I've wanted a place that I can keep them all organized by book of the Bible. So if I'm studying in, let's say in my own devotions, I'm in Exodus and I get to a part that I don't fully understand and I'm like, I know I've had trouble with this for a long time. I can come to this and flip right to Exodus and open it up and see, which I don't have any notes there yet because I just started doing this, and see if there's any sermons that I've gone to in the past that have touched on Exodus. Or if Dan is wanting to do some sort of in-depth study of a specific book, that this could also be a resource for him to be like, okay, I'm doing an in-depth study of 1 Corinthians, which he actually is right now for a Bible study. So if we had at any point since I started doing this gone and listened to a sermon that was preached from the book of 1 Corinthians, we would have all the notes on them and everything. We would have it in here so he could just flip over to the First Corinthians and pull out all of these notes and see what other pastors are talking about, how they're interpreting things, see if he agrees with it, see if he doesn't, all of that sort of fun stuff. I've wanted to do this for a very long time. I've also not been willing to buy a divider and just write the little names and stick it in the tabs because I like to torture myself by sitting and cutting poster board for four hours straight. So today, Dan went to work, I had the time. I thought this would take me like an hour. It has been four hours. I've sat here for four hours. I just keep repeating it because I cannot believe it took me that long. Now I have it. And the whole point of having the miscellaneous section there at the end is because some sermon series and some certain messages are on a concept or like grace or faith and there isn't any one specific passage that's sort of that's, that's like the main framework of this sermon so like they they refer to different 
passages throughout the Bible, but there's no like one he's like that, like the pastor is specifically referring to for that sermon. So when I have things like that, I don't want to guess and be like, eh, well, he referred to something in Matthew, but he also referred to something in Romans. So eh, I'm gonna throw it in Romans because it's not specifically pulling from Romans. It's pulling from lots of different books and there's not one main focus verse passage if that makes sense so i have that miscellaneous section so i can put things in there and they're actually that is one of the most full sections because i have like dan's how to read the bible series in here so i have all five of his sermons or four of his sermons i don't have the first one and then our pastor was also doing a life of faith so I have those in here as well because those did not cover any specific topic or any specific passage and they kind of jumped all over the place. So those are all in the miscellaneous. So I don't know if I'll find a different way to organize those later, but I have those extra tabs should I decide I want to organize them a little more specifically. What I want to do now, which might be really uh, a lot and it'll take far longer than four hours, is I want to take the cover of each one of these. So this is Genesis right here. And I want to use, like just draw a little line right there to kind of close that bit off, but then take the entire rest of this and draw a scene from Genesis. And I kind of want them to be not the typical, when you first think of that book of the Bible, that's the first thing that pops into your head. So for most people, when they think of the book of Genesis, that's the very, very beginning of the Bible. That's where everything started. So they think of Adam and Eve and they think of that scene where Adam and Eve are naked in the garden and they have the fig leaves covering them, the snakes in the tree and God's all like, what'd you do? And they're like, I don't know. And he's like, you do know. So that's the image that pops to your mind first. And I want to do things that are kind of a little more abstract than that. So I don't want to just flat out draw that scene because that's what jumps to mind first. I want to do something like maybe having joseph in the pit from joseph's perspective looking up and seeing the outlines of his brothers looking down at him after they just threw him into the pit because that's not the first one that comes to mind when you think of genesis but that's in there i'll have to talk to dan because chances are he's going to be the one doing the drawings of these because he is much more artistically gifted in those areas than i am but to see what he thinks and to I think that would just be a really cool art piece to add to this. And because I just spent four hours cutting them all out, I want to keep these for a very long time. That's my thought process. That's what I've been doing. I need to edit my vlog. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. How are you? What have you been up to? Hopefully not cutting paper for four hours. If you have any cool sort of out of the box ideas for different books, let me know. I might really like those ideas because I haven't thought this through very much so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them yet but that's what's in my brain so there you go all right it is Saturday now I am uh I just finished making supper it is currently in the oven we are eating some stromboli and now I'm just sitting here watching some Mr. Kate on YouTube and waiting for Dan to get home and waiting for that to finish cooking so we can eat. And also just eating an avocado while I wait as well because they're delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog there. I hope you guys have had a great week and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.